Whole Life Leaders. In this micro course, we're gonna talk about how to be a goal crusher. The reality is, as a leader, having an inspiring vision or being a good people leader isn't enough. It's awesome, but not enough. You need to be able to turn abstract into action and have the perseverance and grit to see things through even when the road gets tough. I'm gonna share with you five practices you can implement that will have you winning amongst the best of them. This is the same process I use with my coaching clients. And by implementing these practices, you'll be doing way more than setting goals. You'll be changing the way your brain is wired, which is the only way to change behavior, change your thinking, change your actions. At the end of this micro course, I'll share with you a link to a template you can download to support you in your journey. So stay tuned. Okay, so let's dive in. Step one, identify the gap. The first step is to not only set out a target goal, but to identify the gap between where you are and where you wanna go. The point here is to get clear on what kind of mountain it is you are about to climb. Is it a leisurely hike, just beyond your current state, or are you about to head up Everest? In Gabrielle Oettingen's book, The New Science of Motivation, she shares that when we contrast our goal with the obstacles that we're likely to face along the way, we activate this fire inside of us that supports our performance. Without doing this step, we're just dreaming, and that can actually have a negative effect on our performance. So my coaching question for you at this step is, what's stopping me from having this goal today? Sit on that. Okay, so step two, get clear on your predictable default future. Understanding what's likely to be your predictable default future if you don't take action is just as important as taking action. There's some really interesting psychology behind this. Behavior change is inherently challenging. In George Leonard's book, Mastery, he talks at length about this, but we're just gonna briefly touch on it. We're biologically predispositioned to resist change. Our internal regulating system's job is to keep things stable and in equilibrium. When there's a change within our system, alarm bells go off and there's an effort to go back to that stable state. So when we try to create change, it takes our bodies out of the safe place where things are predictable and comfortable, but it forces a new normal. It's not an easy task. By understanding what's at risk if we don't force this new normal, we can stay better committed during those uncomfortable phases of resistance. So my coaching question for you here is, what's your predictable future if you don't take action? All right, step three, embrace a growth mindset. Carol Dweck outlines in her book, Mindset, that there's two types of mindsets people can take to learning and growth, fixed or growth. People with a growth mindset embrace the understanding we now have around brain plasticity. That is our brains can and do change. We can develop competencies and talents through experience and practice. So why does this matter in the context of goal setting? Well, anything is possible. It's up to you to cultivate a growth mindset and put that into practice. You literally have the power to change your brain. So embrace that and leverage the crap out of that. So my question for you here is, what stories do you have around your abilities to achieve your goal? All right, let's jump into step four. Create micro wins. Whether your goal is big or small, create micro wins by chunking down your goal. Think of it this way. If you're planning to summit Everest, you wouldn't just have the peak as your only target. You'd carefully plan out all of your base camps along the way, so you would set your sights on each target with the peak as almost a background goal. Creating these next steps makes even the biggest of goals seem manageable and keeps you from getting discouraged and overwhelmed. So my coaching question for you at this step is, what's my first step in this journey? So step five, celebrate. As critical as this step is, it's often forgotten or seen as unnecessary feel-good stuff. In reality, reflecting on and celebrating your wins is part of winning. It's not an add-on at the end. Before getting started on your goal, work into your plan when and how you're gonna celebrate your wins. Love yourself, be kind to yourself, and give yourself those much deserved high fives along your goal crushing journey. So those are the five practices to support you in becoming a goal crusher. 
And as I mentioned at the start of this video, make sure to download the Winning Academy Goal Setting Blueprint in the link below. And if you like this micro course, you might also enjoy the micro course on values driven goal design. where We talk about how to set goals that have some soul. So join me on the Winning Academy for that course and many others I've created for you, the dreamer, the creator, the one who leaves a legacy. Thanks. I'm not.